Welcome! In this video I'm going to show you how you can deploy your own ERC20 token to the Songbird network. So the first thing we have to do is we need the contract. So right now I'm on remix.ethereum.org. So this is an integrated development envi environment, so an IDE, uh, in the browser. So you just go to websites, the link is in the description. And then we need to create a new file and we'll just call it whatever. My, I'm going to call it my token dot solidity so dot sol right so now we're going to go to another website which is also going to be linked in the description um it's open zeppelin so open zeppelin is a company that is providing um well co solidity source code more or less so they're giving you here all uh, well lots of templates and standards so you can see your esd 20 standard you see 7 to 1 standard so which is used for nfts this is standard just used for normal uh tokens more and Right, and we're going to be creating our own USD20 token. So the only thing we have to do is we are going to copy that part there, and we're going to back. We're going to go back to the IDE and paste it there. So we can see here that's the code here. It's going. To, it's doing an import on the USD20 from Open Zeppelin, and we can also name the contract. And we're just going to call it test vi test video contract. And now here I can define what the name of the token should be. And I'm going to call it test video, video, um, whatever token. And it's going to TVT, test video token. And right, so afterwards, we're going to go to the next tab and click on compile. So now the code has been compiled. And then we're going to go to the third section here, uh, which is for deploying it. And we're going to here under environment, select injected web free. So then we're going to use MetaMask. So uh, you have to set it up beforehand. So you have to um, have your own account. You have to configure the Songbird RPC. But I showed you in one of my last videos how to do that. So just import that. So just so you now you go to custom RPC and just enter the information of the chain. And right, and you need your account here. And you can see here I've got right now 12.5 Songbird on this account here and this account will be deploying the smart contract. So after I'm done here, I can go to the deploy section here, and then I'm gonna select the test video contract. contract. Afterwards, you're just gonna click on that one here, and now we have to define the initial supply. So how much of our token should exist? Um, so by default, the ESO20 tokens have 18 decimal places, meaning that I'm gonna do 1000, and now I'm going to do 18 zeros. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18. Okay, right. So now if you define that number here, that specifies it as 1000 of our token. So after having all the defaults here, having selected the right account, we're going to click on transact. So the transaction is being prepared. We can see here we're going to pay a fee of 0 0.27 Songbird. And we're going to confirm that. Now we're just going to wait one to two seconds until the block is confirmed. So it's confirmed and we can see here our contract. So we can see the symbol here. It's going to be TVT. The name is test video token. And another thing we can do is we're going to, we can click on MetaMask. We can click on assets and click on token, add token. Afterwards, we're going to go to the test video contract and click on and copy the, uh, the contract address. So we're gonna again click on add token. We're gonna paste it there. It automatically takes the name, it takes the uh, position, and we're gonna go to next and add token. So now we can also see that I've got 1000 TVT. And I can also just send it like any other token here. And yeah, that's how it works. So we just created our own token, deployed it to the Songbird network, we named it, and we can also send it to other accounts. So that's how all of the works. Also, if we have a look at the Flare Songbird Explorer and click on tokens, we can now see also our test video token here in the list. So I created multiple tokens, so you can see the XRP DevOps here token and so on. So it's just fooling and testing around a little bit. And yeah, that's how that works. So I hope it was helpful. I'm going to link all the um, websites which have used this video. And all right, so best of luck to deploying that and see you in the next video.